Hi folks, I'm Cody Lucas, your host with Living the Dream Outdoors TV. And this week we're gonna be down in the Ozarks of Missouri at Devil's Backbone Outfitters. The team down there was nice enough to call up and invite our guys down for a hunt on a big gnarly whitetail buck that they've got on video. And we've got Bill Cooper, he's our team member. He's gonna be videoing his buddy, Tim Jelsvik, and they're gonna see if they can't get it done with archer equipment. Ozarks of Missouri, and yes, I know it's snowing here where I'm at, but things are heating up and it's not snowing where they're at, so you don't wanna miss this action. Watch this. Okay, here is the setup for tomorrow. The double uh, climber stand set up on this ridge and there's a buck coming through making scrapes so we're thinking that he'll be checking those. So we're about about 10 yards off the, off the main fire road that kind of comes through here. We're gonna go as high as we can in this tree and see if we can't get one coming through in the morning tomorrow. It's day one of our hunt, and before we're heading out to the woods, we're going to do a little shooting out in the back 40 here. And it's not so much to get dialed in, but I just find that shooting before a hunt makes me so much more confident, and confidence is so much a part of bow hunting. Let's do a little shooting. So when the arrow goes through that old target, I know I've hit the sweet spot because that's where I hit over and over and over again. This is our first night in the stand. We went around, we looked at some different trail camp picks. We decided we're gonna stick with the ridge tonight. There's probably three scrapes in sequence leading along this ridge. So we're gonna see if that buck's coming through tonight to check him. If not, we'll be back in the morning. <clears throat> it's quarter till three, it's November three, and we're excited to see some bucks down here at Devil's Backbone Wilderness Outfitters. multi-use versatility single passion your hunt depends on great gear alps outdoors exceed your expectations
You know how sometimes you look at a spot and try to will a deer into existence? We've been doing that all morning and we've seen lots of does. We've seen turkey, raccoons, squirrels. No big bucks. We saw a four-pointer. That was fun right off the bat. It's getting close to 12.30 and Bill and I's stomachs are arguing with each other over who can grumble the loudest. So we're gonna back out, get some lunch, figure out a game plan for this afternoon slash evening and get back at it. Take a new spin on rotating blind chair performance. Your hunt depends on great gear. Alps Outdoors, exceed your expectations. This is our second night in the stand. About last night, didn't see anything. Um, it's a little different of a setup. It's a really scrubby funnel point. So scrubby that there's no trees big enough for Bill and I to both get up in. So, Bill's over there, I'm over here, and we're thinking that this deer are going to come through somewhere in this, how about a 80 yard stretch here. The trick is going to be to get a shot through the scrubby oaks and stuff in here. So we'll see if we can make it happen. At Living the Dream Outdoor Properties, we believe it all starts with a love for the land. From working cattle ranches to hunting retreats, large timber tracks to river and lake hideaways, we value the tradition and freedom that land gives us. We appreciate your business and thank you for choosing Living the Dream. To get where you want to be in life, as a man, as a dad, as a hunter, you will carry some heavy loads, and through them we realize that virtues like strength and reliability matter most, from ourselves and our gear. Ultimately what matters is not the weight of the load, but how we carry it. Alps Outdoors. Take your wild turkey in a rod in a Can-Am Defender XT from Cowtown, USA. A Defender XT can get you deep into the woods very quickly for the hoot owls and the wild turkeys live. Can-Am Defender XT from Cowtown, USA. Now that's something to strut and gobble about. Oh <laughs> 
giant white tail. I don't know how many points he was. I couldn't look at his antlers because they were freaking out. My heart is about to rip out of its out of my chest. We just heard him crash. <laughs> what do you say? I mean, what do you say? That's a trophy buck in the Ozarks. They're not supposed to be trophy bucks in the Ozarks. They're here. And they're devil's backbone wilderness out there. That's a huge buck. <laughs> Scenery, the cabin, the sounds, the monster bucks, the does, the turkeys. <laughs> the Ozarks has it. Oh man. This is my new home. I'm never leaving. <laughs> here wow <laughs> guys thank you so much joe and chance sam congratulations Golly. congratulations so, man, thank yeah, you nice guys bet. so much devil's backbone wilderness outfitters we've been we've been hunting for a day and a half that's it joe set us up on this little platform up here and kind of in a transition between oak and and uh, some cedars and this guy came through pushed a bunch of does down towards us and uh, he got to within 15 yards of my stand. And <laughs> I thought he was going to bolt at any moment because these does were moving along. The does knew that something was up. They knew that we were there. They knew something was wrong. They were stamping. One of them blew. He still didn't, he still didn't roll out. He kind of hung around. Um, but he would not give me a broadside shot. He was coming towards me. But he finally turned a little bit. And I was able to stick him right here in the shoulder down through the lungs. That dirt nap gear broadhead just, he ran maybe 50 yards and we heard him crash back here, but we backed out, gave him plenty of time. <sighs> what a roller coaster, but what a prize at the end. What you're looking at is the combination, the culmination of the collaboration between Outside Again Adventures and Bill Cooper and the Thinking Woodsman with Tim Chelswick. Look what happens when we get together, man. Oh man, they don't get any better than this. I think we made a pretty decent team. I think we just need to stop. Uh, well, no, we're going to name this thing. We'll call it the, the old and the young. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you about worked me to death the last day and a half. Uh, yeah, but, we, you know, great teamwork. Uh, Bill was manning the camera yesterday, this morning, and this afternoon into tonight. Got great footage of this deer being, being shot. Um, this kind of stuff doesn't happen on its own. Devil's Backbone Outfitters set us up, let us in here, kind of told us where to go. And we just had to turn the camera on and point the arrow at the deer. Hey, it's a thing of beauty when something like this comes together. All of you have been bow hunting any time at all. You know how it's difficult to get everything to work out. And when you see the footage of this, you're going to be envious. Good job, Tim. Thank you. I'm envious, and I was there. <laughs> After just a day and a half of hunting, we get on this beast. And I arrowed him at 15 yards. He ran maybe 45, 50 yards, crashed and the rest is history but um man bow hunting in the ozarks there's just nothing like it this beautiful chocolatey base all this character here um <laughs> i want to be me right now <laughs> i just cannot believe that uh that i was able to take a buck like this um bill cooper thanks so much for running the camera joe and chance again thanks for the invite down and, and Ray I, Ray I was the, the guy that invited me to come down for the media hunt that introduced me to all these people in the first place. So thanks, Ray, for that. And uh, an absolutely thank you to, to Jesus Christ for blessing us with this opportunity to be able to enjoy uh, God's creation. Just an incredible, incredible hunt. Yeah. 
right here. This is where that deer stood for what seemed like an eternity before he finally turned a little bit to the right and gave me enough shoulder to stick a dirt nap gear broadhead through him. What a moment. I, I will never forget that for the rest of my life. And the fact that we've got it on film is even better. It's bittersweet having to leave here knowing that this happened. The great thing is, I know I'll be back. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, you did it again. A great job out in the field. Congratulations to Tim and, and Bill for catching it all on, on video. And a big thanks goes out to the boys at Devil's Backbone Outfitters in the Ozarks of Missouri. After the show here, you'll see how to contact them gentlemen down there. But I tell you what, don't you all go running down there because we've got to save a spot for me this fall. Y'all take care and we'll see you next week.